Hmm. Hello, water tower. I kind of thought there would be uh, more of a place to be up here, but there's not. Oh! Well, it appears that this is a popular place. I don't know if I should be appalled that they're leaving their trash or proud that they're practicing safe sex. Well, oh, you know what? I bet this is, and I should leave. I bet these are the mountain bike trails behind the Jewish Center. And I, I, it's not that I should leave because it's the Jewish Center, because quite fond of the Jews, but I should leave because I don't want to bother a mountain biker. stop here for a moment and we'll talk about some things so as I was saying my friend who's a much better motorcyclist than I am he has uh, some Chewbacca shoes because he's what a Wookiee and uh, he said hey why don't you do some reviews about your bikes so let's begin where it all began this is my Vespa it is a 2010 Vespa GTS 300 Super. And about three years ago, I decided that uh, I was spending way too much money on gas driving my car all over the city. So why not get a scooter? And I started doing some research about dependability and the ease of fixing and figured out that Vespa was the uh, best brand to buy. Highest resale value, best overall scooter on most comparisons. Now, when I first purchased it, it was bright red and it was beautiful. And it was named Chili Vespa Sparkle Bottoms. I would go to work and people would be like, dude, what is that? And I'd be like, this is a Chili's Vespa Sparkle Bottoms. And they'd be like, a what? I'd be like, it's a Vespa. It's an Italian scooter. And they were like, why would you do that? I'm like, well, because it gets great gas mileage. So I think it advertises itself at 60 miles to the gallon. For the most part, I average around 75 miles to the gallon. It's uh, really dependent upon, you know, how, how hard I'm driving it. Most of the time I just cruise around. I just kind of ride for the, for the love of riding. I don't really race or, or rip up and down the streets you know there's always those days where you know you go out and you see what you got and I've had those days on the Vespa 
the highest I have ever seen my little speedometer go was between the 90 and 100 mark yes over 90 miles per hour and um, it lists on the website that the max speed is uh, I believe 95 90 something like that I have seen them raced at even speeds higher of that but they're pretty much broken all the way down uh, as I said it's a GTS 300 it's got like a 292 cc motor in it and it actually weighs a little bit more than my Ducati Monster Veritas so let that sink in for a minute I'm on a scooter right now that is heavier than my first motorcycle And I absolutely love this thing. It is by far one of my favorite modes of transportation. It's got character. It's fun to ride. It's really easy to ride. Uh, I don't know if y'all have noticed, but I've got two levers up here. Those are both brakes. There's no clutch. I twist this, and I go. I press that, and I slow down. It is, uh, what is it called? It's not a chain. It doesn't have a chain that I have to worry about. It has a shaft, I believe. I think it's shaft driven is what they call it. So the motor, the shaft, everything going to the back wheel, you just twisting, go. It's very fun. Anybody can ride this thing, except that a lot of times uh, people, they, they don't give it its props. Because uh, while it is, in fact, a scooter, as much as I hate to admit it, it's a very, very large scooter. Now, it's no Suzuki Bergman or anything like that. Uh, you know, it's not like a 650cc motor that can do over a hundred miles per hour any day of the week and you know it's doesn't have cruise control or anything like that it is a little city city crawler and I like it for that because I'm always just bopping around the city it's very it's very nimble people who ride it they're like wow I did not expect that I'm like I understand you expected it to be some little moped that you rented when you were down at the beach. And of all the things that it is, it is not a beach moped. And, ow, these roads are awful around here. So, there you go. It pays for itself. Insurance is really cheap on it too because they don't really think about it being uh, a motorcycle. They're like, oh, you know. What a pretty little scooter. <laughs> Got him! Because as I said earlier, it used to be named uh, Chili Vespa Sparkle Bottoms. It is now named the Dark Aster. Because somebody damaged it. And nobody would work on it. So... I ended up doing it myself and the color scheme that you see now is not offered by Vespa that was done with some help of spray paint cans that I got at the local Lowe's and um, a Dremel tool that I use pretty much for sanding down the rough parts and a lot a lot a lot of YouTube videos I'm really happy with it I really like it being the way that it is and I'm probably going to continue to fix some things because like you can see right there it doesn't really really sit down the way that it does under the GoPro and uh, I want to fix that oh that's a pretty house and I probably will come springtime and the thing about the Vespa is all of the weight all of the motor everything about the 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 bike itself is underneath the seat which is fine Italian leather by the way 
it's so nice on the cheeks and uh, and this bike can and has uh, been two up before two ups the most fun when it's nut to butt but I can two up on this bike it still has plenty of power uh, I kind of tweak the suspension in the back a little bit because when I'm riding by myself I like it to be a little bit softer and when I'm riding with somebody I need it to be just a touch firmer to actually uh, absorb a lot of the the bumps and the stuff because my city won't really pay for things like you know roads hey there's a plane but now that I now that the the seal has been broken and that I am actually modding this bike up a little bit I do have some more plans. Uh, I have some plans to black out the front and rear turn signals. I'm going to uh, probably put in some LEDs into the uh, dash. Probably put an LED kit into the front headlight. Just a couple of things. But here we are again at the Crestwood Coffee Company, which is my coffee company of choice. But Seasick Records is um, not a recording studio, but it is, in fact, a vinyl store. You can go in there and buy vinyl records. There is also a barber in there. It is uh, not my barber. And I know I kind of promote local before global, so that's that might perplex you as to why there is a barber shop right here that I could go to but I don't uh, you know what I support the guys at the L64 and I'm going to continue to do so uh, I'm going to continue to go out there and I probably would have gone out there today but I didn't feel like driving the 30 miles out of the city to go to the barber shop that I I like so much at any rate I'm going to go inside and get a Maki Maki Oto. That sounds Japanese. It doesn't really sound Italian. I will ask her how to say it, and then I will probably come out here and be able to pronounce it appropriately. Maybe. Maybe not.